Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a six option slide in PowerPoint. If you can see here, the option one will come, then option two, three, and from the left side, four, five, and six will come. I have created some more slide, which is a, a white background slide. And then there's a black background dark color slide with animation and there is one more the which the animation comes from one side only so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes select a rounded corner rectangle draw the rectangle and make it curved maybe this size is okay make it no outline and then you can just using the alt and the right arrow key you can bend this and bring it on the top of the the guided line Add one more by pressing Ctrl D. So I'm just going to add six options here. So I'm going to give some equal spaces between this. So select all these objects under align. Just say distribute horizontally. So it will give you the right spacing I need to bend some more and then I'm going to add some numbers to it make it a bigger font I'm going to use a font called Oswald. And place it at the middle of the object. So this will be two, three, four, five and six if you have space you can add some more options if you like now select all the options select all the objects under format merge shapes save fragment and delete the unwanted object so here you can just see the numbers which is outside of the rectangle box I'm just going to delete that one and then select the inside the numbers and change the color to white Now I'm going to color this with different color. If you want, you can use some gradient uh, color as well here. Gradient effect. Now the coloring part is done. I'm going to insert one oval shape here. Make it smaller one and bring it the bottom of the 
rectangle. Right mouse click, go to format shape and give some 3D format and use uh, this one which is called the soft round and fill you can make it a light gray fill and the line you can make it a white line and give some shadow effect increase the distance and increase the blur effect and then using the format painter or just press ctrl d to duplicate it and then copy it across all other options make sure to align it properly and if you have the icons you can just download the icons from the nonproject.com and i'm going to insert a arrow a downward arrow here and the end arrow type i'll make it a, a round one and a bigger size and then copy and paste And select these arrows and make sure that it is aligned properly then I'm going to add some text here you can add a one a title and then a description to it copy and paste across all other options and then you can align it change the color as per the rectangle options and change for all other as well and change these two option two three four five and six I'm just going to group this object, press Ctrl G to group it or you can right mouse click and group also. Make sure you will not uh, group the other objects. Otherwise, while doing the animation, it will be a problem. Alright. The all objects are now grouped. I'm going to give some animation. Go to animation, enable the animation pane. Select the first option. Go to add animation and say fly in and fly in say from right go to the option for properties and timing make it fast and effect increase the bounce end then the arrow I'm going to give a wipe effect it should be from top and then for the options also for text also I'm going to use the wipe effect again from top the second and third animation should happen after the first one so I'm going to make it after previous now if you see here when I click the animation is happening perfectly I'm going to use animation painter and paint it across all other options So you can do it for others so I, I just did all the animations now I 
and you can go and change the background if you want a black dark background you can make it a dark background or if you see my first slide which i have uh, copied this image from the internet and i'm just pasting it here and send it to back because the image is not full i've just copied the other half also and the text make it white so it will be visible and arrow as well you have to make it white so let's see how it looks now so when i click option 1 will come then option 2 3 4 5 and 6 that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye